Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Prep Files. It is two weeks out and as of tomorrow we will be just one week away from show day. So we will be heading into peak week tomorrow which is really exciting. It means that we'll be manipulating water, sodium and then also reintroducing carbs to my diet on Thursday. This week has been the toughest week for me. I've been on a calorie depletion since Sunday and increased cardio. It's been an absolute struggle and I have not enjoyed barely any of this week. I am feeling super positive that I have actually managed to crawl through this week um, with some minor breakdowns on the way. And I'm really happy that we are just going to be one week away as of tomorrow. So enjoy and thank you so much for watching. Today is my second day on no rice in meal two and higher cardio. I am really tired and I am absolutely starving. I eat and I'm still hungry. So, which is good because it means my metabolism is working really fast. But I never feel full at the moment at all. It's the first time that I've really had like proper hunger and I'm trying to curve that by having cucumber and drinking no sugar fizzy drinks just to try and fill my stomach up but I am super hungry. I can't believe that we are less than two weeks away now it is absolutely crazy. I am doing a big push in the gym this week. I've just trained with one of the guys from the gym. We did a pull session and I think it went really well and he pushed me really hard so that was really good. But yeah, I'm super excited now and just can't wait for the day to be here. Last big push and then we are done. I don't know why I do it to myself, but little bakery in the morning absolutely kills me. Today, my Amazon parcel deliver was delivered and it is these really exciting, really low calorie noodles. So they are only seven calories per packet and... I am just going to have those instead of my rice, so my body is tricked into thinking that I'm actually eating more than I am. So I will report back and tell you how they are. It is Tuesday. And I have been to see John in person today and he's really happy, everything is bang on. He's reduced my steps by 2,000 which is great, so frees up a little bit of extra time over the next few days. Um, we've got another check-in on Saturday and then he will have my peak week instructions and what I need to do with my water and everything else. So nearly there. I'm super tired today. Feeling positive and really looking forward to the next kind of few days before check-in and then heading into peak week which is super exciting. For anybody who doesn't know, peak week is the week before your show when you manipulate water, sodium and carbs ready for the show. So yeah, we're nearly there and I can't believe that we are actually nearly at competition day. Amazing. Well, I've been out walking, John messaged and he's dropped my steps by another 2,000. So um, I'll now be doing 8,000 steps instead of 12. So I'm absolutely buzzing about that. The reason behind that is just to save my legs and um, give me a bit of rest. So super happy about that news and looking forward to cracking on with the rest of the week. I am working from home today and I got up this morning and did my hour cardio. I've got 20 minutes left to do tonight and I'm gonna be training legs with Matt um, as well. So I came home, had a shower, had my breakfast and popped some comfy clothes on as I'm currently doing a fundraising convention um so a lot of online talks and seminars and things like that and speed networking so um in between those sessions i'm just making sure that i'm filling up on black coffee now it's seen as though nobody can see me because it's not on zoom this is something that i've been drinking throughout the whole of prep 
so it's Yorkshire tea biscuit brew and it really tastes like malted milks so just before I go to bed I have one of these and it curbs my sweet cravings I have it with oat milk I can't wait until I can actually drink normal tea with milk because I've really gone off tea which normally I drink absolutely tons of it but I've been sticking to coffee and just one of these before bed so I'm giving this a go today um, and we're going to put it with some veg and some mince and see how that goes. It says just to drain them and then pop them with your food. So I was expecting them to be thin noodles, but they're more like um, egg noodles, which I'm okay with. Okay, so I've fried them up and hopefully they're going to taste good and fill the void of me having some rice. So I'm just going to try one of the noodles now and see what they're like. Um, They obviously don't taste of anything, they just taste of whatever I've cooked it in, but they're bouncy, like noodles, they fill a gap, and if they trick my belly into thinking that I've eaten more food than I have, then that's great. We're now on Wednesday, and I am super hungry, super exhausted, and really looking forward to checking on Saturday, but yeah, these are a big win for me. I am so tired, I have to do my online conference all day at work. So my brain is a bit fried, so just before legs, I'm going to take some Rage, which is Warrior Supplements. Um, I'll put a link in my description if anybody wants to use them. Um, they'll get 27% off. So this is um, sour cherry flavour, and I just have one scoop because um, I'm small. <laughs> and it's basically just loads of caffeine, and yeah, just makes you feel like you actually want to do something other than sleep. So about to go and train legs and um, drink this first. This week I asked for some questions on Instagram and thought it might be a nice idea to show you what people have been asking and my answers to those, mainly around prep and the journey that I've been on. So enjoy those. This is a really good question actually. So I really enjoyed how I looked probably about four weeks ago when I was lean and everything looked really tight. The way that I look at the moment is, I personally think it's too much. I don't like the fact that I look like a zombie and I'm cold and yeah, I'm just a bit too lean for me. So um, definitely about four weeks ago was my favourite kind of look. This has come up a few times. So when I started, I said I was going to do it once and now I'm a bit unsure. So I think once I've come off stage and my main aim is to get my body back working to normal, then I'll probably make a decision about whether I do it again in the near future. So worst parts have been the exhaustion. I've just been constantly tired and not being able to eat normal food. I really love food, so um, not being able to cook and eat things has been hard. And the best part has definitely been being able to see how far I can push my body and see my body change every day and also building a really lovely network of people who have supported me and become friends during this the journey. Night after my show, when that is finished, I have lots of food to consume and I'm going to drink a bottle of Prosecco in my house with a straw and get drunk for the first time in my new After home. prep, I am definitely going to keep on calorie counting. It's really important to make sure I do that when I'm doing a um, proper rebound, just so that I don't just put on loads of weight really quickly. I'm also going to carry on lifting and hopefully um, keep my weight going up and my strength going up and grow some more muscle. And I'm definitely not going to eat as little or pose I as much. I cannot even begin to explain how excited I am to eat lasagna and pizza like a sandwich the day that I finish my show. I'm just so excited to eat normal food again that doesn't just taste bland and shit. I'm at college today and... This is an extra small, extra small, brilliant, fan-tastic. Usually I 
split my cardio and my training up at the moment because I'm doing 80 minutes and then a full training session. Um, but today's my day off, so I went shopping and um, then I decided to do it all together. So I've just been in the gym for like two and a half hours. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna go home and then I'm going for a walk with my friend and I'm getting my brows done. So I'm just gonna go home and have a little rest before I get up and do that. It is Thursday night and I've definitely pushed myself too hard today. I went to Primark as you saw with my joggers and yeah, then did my training. Then went and saw a friend and she waxed my brows for me. And then came home and thought I was Billy Big Balls and started cleaning my house. And I am pooped. <sighs> Not many more days to go. Another there. female bodybuilder show, told me about freezing your jellies so they go like a slush. And it's really good. And I wish I'd found out about this sooner. But never mind. Happy to have that for the last 10 days. I am currently dyeing my hair which is why I look like this. I went to the gym today to train pull with some of the guys from the gym and I got there and one of them was like, are you all right? You look knackered. And I basically just burst into tears <laughs> um, just because I'm so exhausted. Yeah, I was just feeling so tired. But they both had a look at me and said that I'm looking really good. Um, I had a little pep talk with John and I know that I'm only like, you know, nine days away now, but this last push has just killed me. This week has been, without a doubt, the hardest week of all, but we're nearly there. I'm feeling better now I've trained and feeling a little bit more human now. My house is clean and tidy, nearly-ish, um, but better than it was. It's Saturday morning and I've just had my check-in. I sent my pictures over and I was a bit worried that... I just didn't look very good. Um, I think I've definitely got prep brain at the moment and I'm not seeing my body in a good light at all. I keep nitpicking at the small little minute details of um, fat that I'm storing around my glutes. But John is really happy, which, you know, it's that's the most reassuring thing. He's super happy. He's giving me 50 grams of oats today extra, which is really exciting. I cannot wait to put those to good use. So yeah, all in all, really good and very happy with that feedback. Today I come to the local veg market in Chorley and get all my fresh veg. It's super good and it's supporting local. So, so that's it. We are done for another week. I am super excited to be heading into my last week of prep. It feels like it has been the longest journey. I'm really proud of what I've achieved over the last 17 weeks. And honestly, whatever happens a week tomorrow, I am more than proud of myself. I'm not expecting to place, but the fact that I've got up there and given my absolute everything, that's enough for me. So I'm going to go and get my hair cut now and next week's video will drop on Friday and that will be predominantly about what I'm eating and how I am prepping my body ready for the show a week tomorrow. So thank you so much for being on this journey with me and I'll see you all next week.